Hey gang, so today we're looking at the N-Power Ring by Ant Design. This thing is actually pretty cool. It packs a lot of features into a little tiny package. It spins, it ratchets and clicks, and it can even fit on your finger. This comes out. All right, let's not waste any more time. Let's go have a look, all right? Let's go. Okay, so here is the Ant Design N Power. Now I kind of hesitate a little bit because I want to call it a ring, I want to call it a spinner, I want to call it a ratchet coin, but it's really all of those things. So on the site, it just says N Power. So let's look at its features here. One, it's a great little desk spinner, a little tabletop spinner. And why do we call these uh, these designs desk spinners? Well, because you can lay it down flat and still spin it. There's no wings, there's no uh, extra little kind of arm sticking out, it's just a little circle. So we kind of call these uh, desk spinners, but at the same time, or tabletop spinners, but you can also hold it and spin it, so it still performs like a, a traditional spinner where you can hold in the button. It also has a ratchet function, which is a really good ratchet, and it's you can modify it. And it has these extra little ridges in here, which I really like. This is... Um, this is really smart design when you can actually put your finger inside a ridge and have it kind of naturally find that place where you need to push. So having this little ridge here really helps kind of uh, kind of helps guide your finger as you're pushing it along. So let's open this up. Let's see what's inside here. I'm just going to squeeze on the button and turn one side. It doesn't really matter which side I'm turning. They're both going to come off. And also don't be uh, afraid of this falling apart as you open it up because the button really is just there um, on its own. The button just holds itself in and sits on the bearing, but it does not hold the spinner closed. So now we have this interesting little notch in here. We have it on both sides. Ant Design has actually sent along a great little tool and it's a tool in the simplest form of the word. It is just a small piece of metal. And all we have to do is stick it into one of these sides. And as long as you're kind of putting pressure on the other side, and we just turn it. Now, all this does is this takes this plate off. And then the bearing comes out. And that's it. Now, if we were to take it out of the other side, and that's kind of an important distinction... If you take it off of this brass side, then what you get into is you're removing this whole back cylinder. And what that does is hold the entire piece together. What's important when we do this is to keep these two sides closed. If you don't, the balls and the springs are going to come flying out. So let's hold this down, take it off, and there is our sort of our, our the spinner functionality um, piece. Spinner functionality piece? I, I could have come up with a better word for that, but you know what I mean. Spinner fits inside there. You need this to make it spin. Okay, here's what's important. Thick side, thin side. Thick side goes down because this is where the springs are sitting, right? That's why this side is thicker than the other because the springs have to sit inside of there. So, ant up. Okay, that's the only thing to remember is the word ant design, ant up. And then we lift this up. And then you can see inside we've got all of these little bumps. These are where the balls uh, move across. This is like this little sort of canal. And we've got balls inside here. And they're just sitting on springs. Now, I like this configuration. I'm going to keep it the way it is, but I will show you that Ant Design also sent along extra balls and extra springs. So you can change out. Um, and in fact, if you if you uh, check out Dan Bruner's uh, review, he does, I believe he actually tries out the different uh, components to see if there's a difference in the feel or not. It does not change the amount of clicks. It will add resistance though. So the more balls, the more springs, uh, the more resistance with that haptic uh, feel. But 
not extra clicks. So that's kind of it. It's very, very basic in that sense. Like there's not a lot to get lost. There's not a lot to configure. Um, you just add springs, add balls. So let's look at the ring functionality, which I tend to use the most. Now, the second thing Ant Design has sent along is this separate cylinder. So this other cylinder fits right inside. Now, before we get into that though, let me show you something here. I'm gonna show you the other tool. And this is the thing that I'm not as crazy about. Okay. So if you really have a problem tightening or untightening this into its position, sometimes I usually just sort of jam my finger in there and turn it, but sometimes uh, some people may not be able to, maybe your fingers aren't as big. So it comes with this tool, right? This little pin and the pin fits into the holes. Now, if we look here, the pin comes out of the hole. I find this a little dangerous in terms of scratching the thread inside uh, the track here. So if this sticks out too far as you twist it, it's gonna start dragging along the inside. So I don't use this at all. Um, it's a neat idea, I get it. It's nice that it's included, but I feel like it might actually damage the inner thread. So I just, I don't even bother with it. Um, with this put together, now again, remember we have to press it together and we just start screwing it in until the thread hits both sides. And then, like I said before, you can just kind of use your finger, get another finger, and the finger works just fine. And that's it, and then you're in. So again, you could take this if you wanted to just give it a little tightening once it's in place, but just be really careful because you don't wanna scratch the inside of that. Now, here's where these grooves really pay off. When the ring is sitting on your finger, the backing will not turn. This does not turn. With your finger inside it, especially the only thing that turns is the front face. So these little ridges are perfect because your thumb just sits right along the edge. Now, I've had a lot of, uh, we've seen a lot of ring spinners where it's flat across the top and that's what you spin and that's great. But I do find sometimes it's not ergonomically right. Uh, your thumb doesn't kind of go straight out like this. And I would find sometimes I'd actually get a little bit of a cramping up if I use it too much. What's nice about this one is I can press my thumb against the side of it with a little bit of a bend in the thumb. And then I can actually turn it. Now again, I know everybody's different. Everybody's hands are different. Some people are probably completely fine pressing flat against here. I just like having that extra little bit of sort of turn on my thumb so that I'm pressing along almost the front face of it, but these little ridges give me enough grip that I'm not, I'm still not totally to the side, but I'm kind of coming at it from a 45. I, I just like that. And this feels really good. This, honestly, I would put this up against any ratchet ring out there. Um, I think they all have to be like for them to be bad. They have to be really bad because the design is typically pretty simple. And so these ones are nice. Um, what I also like about this, by the way, is unlike a lot of other ones, uh, I've had rings where when you spin them, if you spin them the wrong way, because the entire, uh, mechanism turns and the middle is what spins, you would kind of loosen, uh, that inner ring. But because of the, uh, the end power, one side doesn't move at all. So you're never loosening that up because you're only moving the front face. And I, I really, really do like that. It actually, uh, it's a smart design. It feels nice. It works well. Um, and so that's, that's kind of it. Like that's really, um, all there is to talk about it, to be honest. I, again, I really like it. I use it as a ring. I don't use it much as a spinner. I prefer it as a ring. I find sometimes when I'm doing the spinner, uh, it'll actually get caught a little bit. Um, which is weird. I guess it's just how I'm pressing my finger, but it catches me off guard when that happens. So I typically don't use it as the spinner, but it is a really, really good ratchet ring. Um, it, it's probably my favorite ratchet ring in terms of functionality. Yeah. 
All right, gang. So that is the N Power by Ant Design. Um, it's really cool. And honestly, the price is right too. How much is it, do you ask? There you go. I would not hesitate to actually get one of these because um, they're, they're quite good. And for the price, you get a lot out of it. All right, gang. That's it. Thanks for watching. We may all notice something that's a holy fuck, that's terrible. Okay. So, uh, why are we wasting any more time looking at me? Fuck. This is not good. This is not going well. All right.